Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. Psalm 46 verses 1 through 3 says this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride. Here we get a beautiful truth that we have an opportunity to reflect on in connection to God and the way that he helps us. Here the psalmist says that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And that word for trouble could be also translated tight places. So he's a very present help in tight places. And this shows us another way in which God helps us. A lot of times we perhaps think that the only way that God would help us in a particular situation is to rescue us from the problem or keep us from experiencing a problem, a trouble, uh, to keep us from ever getting in those tight places. But here the Psalm teaches us that God is a very present help in the tight places, in the trouble. In the trouble, he is our refuge and strength. Which shows us another uh, facet of God in the way that he helps us. It shows us that even though the earth should change, though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride, God is our refuge and strength and we don't have to fear. It doesn't say that we don't have to fear because the earth will never change, that the mountains will never slip into the heart of the sea, the waters will never roar and foam, and the mountains will never quake at its swelling pride. It says even if that happens, God, it, we do not have to fear because God is our refuge and our strength. And this brings immense encouragement to the person who really reflects on this. Because sometimes we might get discouraged because we might think of past times when we went to the Lord in prayer. Maybe we were praying over something that was going on with us personally. Maybe it was with a loved one. And we went to the Lord in prayer and we prayed over that situation. And outwardly, we didn't see the situation change much at all. And maybe that's happened several times where we didn't feel like God was really answering our prayers. And that might have made us a bit disillusioned to where we come to the Lord in prayer and we think, well, maybe he'll help us, maybe he won't. Uh, maybe he'll be there for us, maybe not. And because of that, that causes a lot of fear in our hearts as we think about the future because we think, well, uh, where where is the certainty with God? How do we know that we can face tomorrow when we don't even know really if he's going to answer our prayers? Well, this psalm really unlocks the key for that because what this shows us is is that God does come to our help and he does come to our aid each and every time. It's just done in a different way than what we would expect or maybe in some cases in the way that we would like because God is a very present help in the tight places. That means that God is present in the trouble, that God is there when we encounter those tight places that oftentimes his help is not in rescuing us or uh, making us immune to troubles and hardships, but rather to be there with us, to strengthen us and to help us through the struggle, through the hard time, through the mountains slipping into the heart of the sea and, and the other things mentioned here. It means that we don't have to fear tomorrow, not necessarily because nothing bad's going to happen, but we don't have to face we don't have to fear tomorrow we don't have to fear facing tomorrow because our god is there with us that he is present and he is our helper and that and when we look at it in that way we know that god is going to get us through it that he will supply us strength he will supply us with whatever we need to be enabled to encounter that problem that difficulty he'll be there to lift us up and to hold us and to keep us through the trouble to where it's not so much that we look to a light at the end of the tunnel, but we look at a light within the tunnel 
and God is our light even in the darkness, even when we're in those hard times. And so these first few verses of Psalm 46 should be immense encouragement for us. It means that we don't have to fear tomorrow. It, it might be that difficulty is awaiting us. It might be that hardship is right around the corner, but we also know that our God is with us to walk with us through it all. And he's there to strengthen us, to guide us, to counsel us, to, to give us what we need, to supply us with what we need to get through any type of situation, whether it be a pleasant one or one that we would much rather not uh, engage in. So let's be encouraged today. Let's be encouraged by Psalm 46, especially those first few verses, and know that our God is a very present help in, time of, in the time of trouble in those tight places. So with that, with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.